Hi guys, and welcome back to another LD Modern Texture Pack Update video. So it's been a little bit of a while. Um, I've actually been finished with this one for a while. Uh, it's just that I went on holiday for an entire week, uh, about nine days. So I haven't had time to actually record this beforehand and, and then render it and edit it and other stuff. But we've got loads and loads of different bits. Now, Nick Goss, as most of you guys know, that's an admin on the server. Uh, also has a channel called uh, Serenian Capuchin as well. He's actually helped tons, actually. He's done all of these. He's, he's redid the woods because they were horrible before. I'm stood on some sort of sky biome. That's weird. Um, but he's actually redone the wood, or completely redone the wood, just completely done from scratch. So we've now got new oak wood, and this one actually does have the variants like in Conquest. If I actually go up high enough, I'm sure I'll find one. There's oh, got to be something. There you go. So you get like these little bits every so often. There's little nooks in them, uh, which is really, really cool. So we've got those. We've got, you know, oak, spruce, birch. I love the birch. Um, jungle is actually pretty cool. Uh, I know that Nick struggled with this one, but this is going to work really nice for palm trees. So I can actually see that working really nicely. So we've got that for the jungle. We've also got acacia, which also looks really cool. Uh, it looks really nice and great. I actually really like this one as well. It's really good. Also, the tops look about a million times better than my old ones. And also the dark oak, which is... I think it's a different version of the oak. It's just a darker one, which is pretty cool, actually. It works perfect. I think this one... Is that the same? No, it's not. I think that might be a different one as well. But yeah, we've got that. Uh, what I've actually done is I've changed the grass. I've made this a lot more... A lot cooler, I think. I, I just like it, you know. So I think it looks a lot better. And that means the tall grass looks a lot better. Which is a lot better. It's got a lot more colour, a lot more shading into it. Um, I might make it lighter. I think it might be a bit dark. It depends on what I'm going to do with this grass material. Because I'm going to change this up and make it a million times better. Uh, as well as put in tons of variants for you guys to use. We also have a sunflower, finally. Uh, Quiz has been asking me for... Like a year, <laughs> I finally done a sunflower. Spent some time. It's not perfect, but um, uh, it looks all right. I think it looks all right. I'm pretty happy with it. And obviously, it's going to turn the wrong way, and it's not going to work, is it? Oh, I did. Wow. So there you go. New sunflower. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we also have, and I'm going to grab a stick out for this. And you'll notice the sticks changed. See the stick and the blaze rod. I've actually changed those two, so it's not that horrible night stick we had. It's actually a paintbrush, and we've got a rolling pin. So obviously, if you're using like metacycler or Case Cycler or Quick Meta, one of those. There's tons and tons of different things you can get plug-in wise for these. Um, these are going to be your main tools for changing like the meta of like blocks and things. So works really nicely. But um, yeah, we've got a paintbrush for that one, and we've got a blaze rod there. Uh, what this one is? It's one four zero colon four. It's kind of a soupy material. It's not. It's not quite soupy. Uh, I tried. I already did. It just came out red. But. Um, Close enough. Uh, the next one we've got is 140 colon 5. 140 colon 5, which is the water one. Uh, it's just got the water pattern in there. It seems pretty cool. What you do find with the... There we go. Uh, with these is that randomly, we get ones that are empty, and you'll get ones that are like that. And I have no idea why. It's just really random. Uh, also the sides, again... If you guys have noticed, it'll be on these sides, so you'd have to then put down one of these and then change the middle of that one, and then it'll change that side. It is the weirdest thing ever, but you're always going to get that, I think. So, yeah, it's it's close enough. I don't know why I've put so many of these down. I think I'll clear them down. I'll clean them up quickly. But, um, yeah, you're going to get those. At least you've got two of those that you can actually change, and because the top's on there, it looks all right. Now, I have added this into uh, the mix, I guess. Uh, this is actually... A stone, so it's, it's stone, it's actually 1 colon 7. What I've done this time is I've tried to mess around with it. I was talking to Nick again about the textures. Um, things, for example, like, and this is mainly a test block in a way. So it'll probably be like this, but it'll, it'll probably be like that for a while. So stuff like my stone brick at the minute doesn't really have any depth around it. So what I did is I was playing around with this. I'd see if we can cut in some depth, and I think I'm going to do something similar with these and just update them. Uh, and that'll be all of them, so I don't know when I'll do that, but I will probably do that. But uh, if you guys can tell me what you think about that, it's just like a dark, well, it's kind of like a grey. Uh, it is slightly different from a Neverbrick as well, because of course there's a Neverbrick version. There you go, you can see it's, it's different, it gives you another shade. And there's uh, somebody flying around, Hogwarts is flying around. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, also got a new sign. I think this one looks a lot better. So there you go, it's like a metallic one. Uh, I think it, it just works a lot better with the pack. Also, the item frame back as well is now a silver one. It's like lighter. Uh, it kind of works a little bit better. I don't use item frames because they're a huge amount of lag that they create, but quite cool. I've also got 4 colon 9. So 4 colon 9 is actually basically this railroad type pattern that you get, mainly in America. We don't have them in the UK. Uh, so this is roughly what I've got on. Uh, kind of like an American one. I'm actually just going to do... 
There we go. I'm uh, going to do that. So we've got that in the single block. And then, of course, if you do a 3 by 3 grid, you'll get this. But you also get some interesting signs on the floor. So, for example, like this. So it is one directional at the minute. But if you guys want me to do, you know, a couple of directions, you guys can, like, are this way. And you can also then, obviously, extend it if you get that way. But if we had, there we go, just this. You can see. If it's just got one there, it gets this weird, cool X thing. And if you get this, you actually get dots in between. So that actually looks kind of cool. I don't know if anybody's going to have any uses for that. But uh, if you guys want me to do a biome version where it turns, that's absolutely fine. Uh, that'll be quite easy. But if you guys could tell me that, if, if that's useful, I don't know. I haven't tried it out myself. But um, it's a weird byproduct of it and it kind of works. Uh, it will never get a perfect X there, by the way. Well, I could, actually, couldn't I? I could if I'd lined it all up, maybe one day, I don't know. It'll be a fixed one, though. So if you guys want me to do that and, and change the direction so we can get X's going this way as well to make lines, feel free to tell me. But currently it does uh, east to west, which is really weird way of doing it. But anyway, now the next one, uh, I can't remember who asked for this. Oh, somebody did ask for it. I'm sure it's in there. I'll I'll have a look and see what I can clear down off that list and see if you guys want the suggestions off there. Basically, sponge metas, uh, a couple more of them, what I've done is we've got the nuclear sign in 19 colon 4, and we've also got a biohazard one in 19 colon 5. Now this will tile with black wool. I just thought that worked, but you can put these on the side of vans and things. That'd be fine. And there's Pocket Phoenix. Right, so anyway, we've got all of that. Now the next one that we've actually got is this kind of dropper. So that's pretty cool. And we've also got the top one as well. So the dropper is actually a cabinet. And then we've got this one as the top. Next bit, we've got a new fence gate, which is pretty cool. And then, finally, Lapis. So this fence gate, sorry, is just literally matched with your normal oak wood, like that. So it, it, I forgot about it ages ago, and now I've actually added that, so it's pretty good. Now I've got lapis as well, so I've redone the lapis. It's going to annoy people, because um, I did... I kind of... I have messed it up a little bit, but I've, I've moved them around a lot uh, to make these kind of like stairs uh, for roofs and things. I think it works a lot better. But basically, um, 20... 21 is like, I might actually just cycle through it in one block instead. But you've basically got um, your normal blue, and then you've got one as green, you've got red, you've got a grey. Then you get this normal one here, because people have been using that one, as well as the dark one, so I've left that one in. Then you've got this light grey in here, and then you've got a couple gaps. Like, you've got a gap here, I might do some more roof tiles, and then you've got, you know, that type of roof tiles, that one, that one, and then just that one. So there's quite a few gaps in it still, but... Um, I think it works. And then what we've got, now this is going to be a bit hard, but um, kind of like what I did with the other stairs, you've now got, so spruce will give you blue ones. So if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we've got the blue. So you've now got those for roofs. And then we've got, is it birch for green? We've got dark oak. Yep, dark oak for red. So I might put these down for you guys. There you go. That might be a bit easier. So you've basically got uh, oak, <laughs> spruce for blue. Uh, birch for green, dark oak for red, and jungle for grey, or dark grey. And then we've actually got acacia for light grey. So it's a bit weird, but um, you'll get used to them. What I advise doing is just doing a brush. So basically make it out of the dark oak, then whatever this is, because you're going to be adding 8 to it. So this would be, let's have a look. It's going to tell me. 1, 6, 4. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then you just do a brush for 1, 4, 1, 6, 4, colon 8. So just change one of them, and then you can just do it on a brush, and you can actually just do replace, or you can do mask, or, or whatever. Got those? We've also got this. Foster coffee. Work drink. Um, Going to come up with something better. But this is basically part of the new, what I'm doing with, with biomes. So we've basically got, you know, star blocks. Uh, so meta-wise, that's 82 colon 1. And then what we've got is, there we go, it's like swamp plan mountain. Swamp planned. If you just change the biomes of those, you will get your foster coffee. So going to be doing more of those, which is pretty cool. And if you actually do it blank, it should just be your, your star blocks. So I've started to change those. If it comes up blank, it means that that isn't the one. So you just have to kind of cycle through biome-wise um, to get the ones you want. But that is pretty much it. If I just do, uh, I can show you a little bit of this roof thing. I'm just going to put shaders on as well. There you go. So I'm going to random garden. Let's just jump over. If I speed over to here, there you go, you can actually see them in practice. And what I've actually had to do with these new roof tiles. So we've got a like, pretty cool house. I also completely forgot, and that actually reminds me, I have slightly done, redone this texture. Uh, I've just taken out some of the colour of it and blurred it a little bit. Um, it's still not perfect, but 
it's a lot better than it was. But there we go, we've got the actual roof there. So that kind of works. And all I've done is on the centre line, I've actually put this raised up with a block just for this style. What you could also do, of course, is have this down as well. So you'd have a flat. But um, it's up to you and what you want to do with that one. It's, it's kind of a difficult one to figure out. There you go. It's updating. So there we go. We've got a couple stairs there. I, I think it looks really cool. And it, it works really, really nicely. That's also a test block. I don't even know if that's in here yet. I don't think it is. You guys didn't see that horrible, horrible texture that I've been working on. Um, but there we go. That is it. Really cool roof. I think it works. Um, it's going to add a lot of variation for like streets and things and, and houses. So I don't know. I love it. But um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Suggestions. We actually... That's going to be a really random one. You can tell that I haven't done it for like... Oh, I've recorded anything for a week. If we actually go into the Meta Factory, we're going to see if there's any more suggestions that are running out of them. Uh, guns and food cobwebs. We've got loads of those. So, uh, wall meta like the like fire extinguisher. Um, closest thing you can get for a fire extinguisher, uh, just to make it easy. If we actually grab one of these, the, the closest thing that I can actually really do, unless I do a biome thing, is is like one sort of that. That's kind of it, um, <laughs> pretty much. Redstone dust like wires. Yep, that will be done at some point. Oh, my scope is now going off. Which is really annoying, but ignore it. Um, connected texture for TV. Yep, more mature paintings. LFI logo. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, glass doors. <sighs> Colored glass without connected textures. That will have to be explained. Um, trophy, yeah, sports cone. Sports cone, still got to do that for, for my Hugo. Also got biome-specific mossy couple stairs. That is going to be so difficult because they're getting like a nightmare. I've run out of stairs. Um... But that's pretty much it. Um, I've also got those colours to do. I've got to do a couple of those. But as always, guys, post your suggestions. I don't know what I'm going to be working on next. Um, we'll kind of see, I guess. We'll see what I'm going to be working on next. But yep. Thanks for watching. We have a ramble. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next one.